Hello and welcome everybody, Akron DL here and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be loading Dragalia Lost and playing it on blue stacks for PC. I know a lot of people are excited about this one and we're also going to talk about how to load your save data and acquire your save data in order to load it up and play it. So this is going to be a good video. Let's just dive right into it. All right, when it comes to blue stacks, First of all, you're going to want to make sure you do download the most recent version of BlueStacks. This will not work otherwise. I have tried it. So please do go ahead and update your BlueStacks to the latest version. Then we're going to create a brand new instance for BlueStacks. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that we're we are not using the 64-bit. We're using the Pi 64-bit. So make sure you do select that option. And now we're going to move over to the ABI settings. We're going to set to custom and uncheck both of the 32 bits. We're only going to have the 64 bits active. This is the only way this will work. Any other setting is fine, but those few things must be done before creating this instance. So now you can go ahead and create this instance and load it up. Once when everything is loaded, just like with the Android version I did in another video, we are going to need to download Dragalia Lost. So make sure you sign into Google Play and download it immediately. Once when that is done, we're going to move into Chrome and, and be sure to copy and paste the link address down below. We will be downloading once again the Dragali patch. Download it and open it up. Uh, you will need to turn on several of the uh, security settings as well. So just uh, bear that in mind a little bit. And the server address I, I provide in the description down below. Once when you have the server that I just in, click on patch and this will take a little bit. I will once again hard cut to as of where we are good to go. Once one is all patched, uh, you are able to install it and probably also deal with a couple more settings. So just to do that real quick. Once it's finished installing, you are then able to open up the game. And just like Android, you will have a link option. I'll cover that a little bit further into the video. Do not worry about that. But for you brand new players, just simply close out of that, click to start, and and everything will be downloading in the background while you do the tutorial. And you are all good to play Dragalia Lost. Now we're going to move into the save portion data of this video. So one thing to keep in mind for this, just like the assets, this will fall under the possible date of March 1st to make sure this gets done. So this entire section will teach you how to download it, link it, and play on your save file. So you would not have any worries there. So starting out for your save data, you must have Dragalia Lost linked to your Nintendo account. This this was done previous end of service. So just if you haven't done this, then unfortunately you cannot acquire your save data. You must also download your, your NAT6 on either 64-bit or 32-bit. And just in case if uh, you do not uh, know which, which bit your computer is, you can just type system information down in your search bar, load it up, and you'll be able to see it just fine. Then only on Windows, this will not affect Macs, you will need to download WebView 2. I will also leave a link in the description down below to as of where Mac people will be able to get their save data. I'm also doing Windows because I use a Windows PC. So just make sure you, you download those other two things, being WebView 2 and the 64 or the 32-bit. Then we'll move right into the save data. So then you'll just move on over to the releases tab. Make sure you download your 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 appropriate uh, zip file. Mine is Windows 64, so I shall download the Windows 64. You're going to open it up and extract all the files. Once when you extract them, you can delete the original original folder uh, and load up a Dragalia client. Uh, you're going to want to run it anyway. Then you'll get a pop up signing into your your, your Nintendo account. Sign into that uh, Nintendo account, and it will spit out three files at you. You are only going to worry about the save data. That is the only one you will need. I moved it over into downloads. That way, it is easier for me to access. You don't have to do that, but but it doesn't affect anything. So so I would just do it. 
Then this other website here, you will log in or register. Just if uh, you're new to this, you will obviously create an account. You just need a username and a password. And this will be where the game will take the save data and load it into the game. So, so just be sure to, to register for that account. Select on choose file, go on over to downloads and select your save data. It will be right there. Very easy to do. And there you go. Your save data will be linked to that account. But then when you go back in game, you will be able to, to click on link account, log in to, to said account, and make sure you also select the, the server, not the official application. Then, ta-da, you will have linked your account. Then you can load it in and everything will be there. Just like how you left it as of end of service. So there you go. You can now load up your save data. And there we go. That is about it. You can now load Dragalia on Bluestacks and as well as acquire your save data, link it, and play on it. So this video was especially thanks to the devs being with me every single step of the way and helping this video be amazing. And also thank you very much to Cirrus as well for making a public server. Truly phenomenal stuff from every single one of them. Please support the devs in the description down below. And you can also use that same Discord server just in case if you have any questions and concerns about any issues you're having. Or also, you can use the guild chat as well as a way to ask questions or even just talk to people in, in general. Very fun place. And that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to check out the playlist as well because that is where anything private server related I create will be. So that playlist will always be updated. So until next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye.